All right, everybody. Question states, when 50.0 grams of silicon dioxide is heated with an excess of carbon, 32.2 grams of silicon carbide is produced. First, what is the percent yield of this reaction? And second, how many grams of CO gas are made? So the problem gives us 50.0 grams of SiO2, silicon dioxide, and it says in the reaction we actually make 32.2 grams of SiC. So it gives us a amount of our, our reactant and an amount of our product. And it wants us to calculate the percent yield. So what we're going to do is take our 50.0 grams of SiO2. And we're going to use our stoichiometry to convert that into grams of SIC. Once we get that amount of SIC, we're going to compare it with the 32.2 grams they gave us, and that'll give us our percent yield. So we're going to do a mass-to-mass -mass conversion, mass-to-mass -mass stoichiometry, which is going to be three steps. Our first step will be taking grams of SiO2 and turning it into moles of SiO2. Two. One mole of SiO2 is how many grams? We need to figure that out. We need the molar mass of SiO2. That's going to be 1 times the molar mass of silicon plus 2 times the molar mass of oxygen. So looking at the periodic table, silicon's molar mass is 20. 8.09 grams per mole. We're going to add that to 2 times oxygen's molar mass, 16.00 grams per mole. And that gives us about 60.09 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of SiO2. So that goes on the bottom of our first conversion factor, 60.09 grams. So at this point, grams of SiO2 will cancel. Now we got to get rid of moles of SiO2 and turn it into moles of what we want, SiC. So we're going to use our mole ratios here, our coefficients. In front of SiO2 is an invisible 1, and in front of SiC is also an invisible 1. So it's just a 1 to 1 ratio. So this second step is not going to change our answer. Looking at our units, though, we will cancel out moles of SiO2, and we're at moles of SiC, which we want to turn into grams of SiC. So we need the molar mass of SiC. So molar mass of SiC is just going to be a silicon and a carbon. So 28.09 grams per mole plus carbon. Looking at the periodic table, 12.01. So our molar mass for SiC is right about 40. 0.1 grams per mole. So one mole is 40.1 grams. Moles of SIC cancel and we're left with just grams of SIC. So when we plug this into our calculator, we will be multiplying by the tops of the fractions, dividing by the bottom. So starting with 50, we will divide by 60.09, and then second step doesn't count because it's 1 over 1. So multiply by 40.1, and we get around 33.4. Okay, so judging from the 50 grams of SiO2, we calculated we could get 33.4 grams of SIC. But the problem says you didn't actually get that much. You only got 32.2. So we want to calculate the percent yield. And that is down here where it says percent yield equals actual over theoretical 
and then we times by 100 to get that to a percent. The actual is what in real life you actually got, what you experimentally got in the lab. It says we got 32.2 grams in the lab, in real life, and we're going to divide that by what we calculated we could get, 33.4. That's the max. That would be 100% yield if we got 33.4 grams. So we divide those two, multiply by 100, and we get percent yield of about 96.4%. So the second part of the problem says how many grams of CO gas are made? So because this is a percent yield problem, we're not actually getting 100% yield. We're not assuming that we're getting 100%. We need to use our experimental value. We need to use 32.2 grams of SIC because that's what we actually made. So we want to start with that and do a, another stoichiometry problem, three steps to get to grams of CO. So three conversion factors. The first one we want to turn grams of SIC into moles of SIC. For every one mole, we already know that is 40.1 grams. So we did that up here, so we're going to use that same number. So at this point, grams of SIC will cancel. And then our second step, we want to turn moles of SIC into moles of CO now and we want to look at our coefficients for the second step. For every one mole of SIC we're going to produce two moles of CO. Moles of SIC cancel and then our last step let's turn moles of CO into grams of CO. One mole of CO is how many grams? We need to calculate that. Molar mass of CO is just going to be one carbon and one oxygen, so 12.01 grams per mole plus 16.00 grams per mole, and that equals 28.01 grams per mole. So that goes in the last step, 28.01 grams of carbon monoxide is one mole. Moles of CO cancel, and we're left with grams of CO. So let's do the math, 32.2 divided by 40.1 times 2 times 28.01 equals right around 45.0 grams. So what is the percent yield of this reaction? It is 96.4% and then based off that percent yield how many grams of CO are made? It's going to be right around 45.0 grams of CO. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.